Good morning, respected head primary wing teachers and all my dear friends. Today, class 5B will put forth before you the importance of World Health Day, which was on the 7th of April. We all have heard the proverb, health is wealth. Yes, good health is like a treasure in human life. A person can survive without access money but can't survive without good health. To stay healthy is not an option but a necessity to live a happy life. The basic laws of good health are related to the food we eat, the amount of physical exercise we do, our cleanliness, rest and relaxation. World Health Day is celebrated on 7th April every year to raise awareness about good health. Millions of people still do not have proper health facilities. It is a global awareness program. Let's make our society a healthy and happy place to be in. Now we have Akshat Sahu who will recite a poem for us. Health is wealth. Eating healthy, sleeping well, exercise regularly, do yoga, as well, healthy body, healthy mind, make us active day and night. Money is not our real health, it will spoil your wealth. Always have a good health, which is our real wealth. Now we will have class 5B telling us about the importance of fruits and vegetables. <coughs> Why we need to eat them. Alright? <coughs> yes, somebody wants to say something before we start our chart reading. Come on. Uh, yes. We do need food and vegetables to keep the pressure. Why we have a, a big stomach? Uh, then we have to go to the office. That's lovely. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Very good. Thank you. Give a big clap for him.
whether it is January or December, you get me the whole year through. Yet some of you do not eat me. Please do eat me, for I also help your body and as much as the other food too. Banana. Yes, now we have Shresh, Gupta. Corn. Corn flakes. Corn flakes of flakes of corn. Corn or maize. This adult plant which has cobs, which are full of grains. The cobs are softened, salt and sugar added and are squashed flat by a big roller. They are then toasted, crisp corn is, is rich in dietary fibers, vitamins and proteins. It gives our body materials for proper growth. We get this every day for breakfast. So make sure you eat all your cornflakes because it will help your body grow. Yes? Thank you. Trish. Now we have Akshat Sahu with his chart. Cereals. Bread is made from wheat, grain, millet, and corn or maize. The grain is ground down into a powder called flour. Flour. Flour is mixed with water or milk to make bread. A little yeast is added to. The flour used is richness, which means proteins and carbohydrates. Cereals. Now we have next chart. <coughs> Potato. Hello, I am Mr. Potato. Most of you like me. I am full of carbohydrates. I give you a lot of energy to work and play. Please eat all the potato that is served to you. Thank you, Dakshit. Now we have Chorya Gupta. Walnut and Kershu. We know you love to eat us. Well, I am Mr. Walnut and below is my friend Kershu. We are rich in fats which are also called lipids. We are not only tasty but it also bodybuilder. Walnut and cashew. Now we have Aryan Roy. Brinjal. Please do not ignore me. I am Mr. Brinjal. I know most of you do not like me, but I am your best friend. I am rich in iron. I help to keep you healthy and to fight diseases. In order to fight diseases and to stay healthy, eat a lot of meat. Okay children, so whenever you are served brinjal, eat every single piece. Okay, it's very, very important. Thank you, Aryan. Now, Lyvik. Uh, with his chart. Yes. Orange. Oh, look at me. I'm grown in an orange bird. I'm full of vitamin C. I give you healthy teeth and bones. And protect you from colds. If you want to, want you to nose to stop running, make sure to eat a lot of meat. Orange, vitamin C. Next we have Sugar cane. Some sugar comes from a plant called sugar cane. The stalk of the cane is crushed which gives out a juice. The juice is boiled until it is thick. The crystals of sugar then form this thick mixture 
contains carbohydrates and minerals. This gives us a lot of energy. Sugar cane. Yes. Well done. Now we have Marvin. This job. Carrot. Hello. My name is Mr. Carrot. I contain carotene which the body changes vitamin A. Vitamin A is a good for your eyes. I help you to see better, especially in the dark. Eat a lot of carrots and you will not have to wear spectacles. So all those who are wearing spectacles, that's a reminder. Okay, whenever you are served carrots, make sure you finish every single piece on your plate. Okay, thank you Marvin. Now we have Aman. Aman Anand. Read out this chart. Honey. These makes honey from flowers. Inside the petals of flowers, there is a sweet liquid called nectar. Bees use nectar from flowers. To make honey, honey helps to protect us from cups and colds. Honey also helps us to fight diseases. Honey. Yes. Next is pandan. <coughs> Mango. I am Mr. Mango. I am the king of fruits. I am rich in fiber and calcium. Well done. Thank you class 5B for teaching us what we should eat. Whether it's a fruit or a vegetable. Many of us don't like eating fruits and vegetables, yes? But now you know. So next time when it's served to you, Finish everything on your plate. Will you do that, children? Yes! Thank you. Thank you. And now we have a short skit telling us the importance, about the importance of good exercise. It's not only eating good food, but exercising regularly. That is why we have PT in the morning, PT in between your classes. Yes, children? So let's find out through this short skit by uh, Ashwa, by Alpina and Shibam Shkedia. So let's put our hands together for the three actors. food allergy. Thank you. 
us to the end of our program on the proverb. We stress more on the proverb, health is wealth. You can see at the back children, the class twos and threes, right? it's not clearly visible now, but later you can come up and see it, all right? But World Health Day is a day to remind us that we need to eat healthy, a nutritious diet. Nutritious means, meals means what children? Does anyone know? What is, what is a nutritious, what a big word? What does it mean? You eat it every day, that word is there in your, on your plate. Yes, Appa? Healthy. Healthy food, but what is the meaning of the word nutritious? Yes, Ashnit, go ahead. Healthy food means uh, vegetables, fruits. Yes, well done, but it contains something. We learn it in our EDS and science books. That's where our subjects come to good use. A nutritious meal means we have the five important components. Yes, Shoryam Gupta. Vitamins, one of them. Clap for him. Well done. Can you add on? We have five. Vitamins, well done. Something else? Iron comes under minerals. Well done. Minerals. Well done. Three more. Vitamins, minerals, what else? Yes, come on, Ryan. Don't eat too much sweet. Eat all this healthy food. Yes, sweet is bad. They said it in the song. Not, don't eat too much of sweets. It gives us the fidgets and makes us sad. We need to eat healthy so that we build our body. We build our bones, yes. strong bones. Yes, yes. The next three, carbohydrate. Yes? Carbohydrate. Very good. And then, so vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, two more, right? Fats. Fats. And one more. Okay. But what is it? It has a name. All pulses. Yes, it has a name. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, the, what's his name? I forget. Label Jyoti. Yes. They are all nutrients. All nutrients which make our meal nutritious. Yes, children? Yes. One more, come on. Yes, uh, forget your name. Proteins. Well done. So let's clap for all of us for the whole primary thing. Well done. So, remember, children, that it's so important to eat all this. And World Health Day, which was on the 7th. On Sunday, okay, it's a reminder to tell us to be fit, not to eat junk food. You know what's junk food? Yes. What is it?
Yes, children? So remember, there's a reason why teachers, matrons, all of us here are telling you what to do in the right way. Will you follow this from now, children? Now we would like to invite our head primary wing, Mr. Smith. Morning children. Good morning, sir. How was the assembly? Good, sir. What did you learn from it though? We only read about it. We should be sitting and reading any sort of food and vegetables, those exercise well and study. Right, but do you practice what you preach? <laughs> Are you doing exercise up here? I do exercise in the evening, sometimes in the morning, in my home. Fantastic! And what about in school? Do you do your PT classes in school in the morning? Yeah. Very good, very good. Yes, a big round of applause for class 5P. Thank you to Mrs. Dennis and class 5P students. A wonderful assembly, a beautiful message. A message that tells us to keep healthy. And that is why World Health Day on 7th of April is denoted to keep reminding us that health is wealth. Okay? So, uh, Ms. Dennis has already said everything what I wanted to say. <laughs> so anyways, a beautiful assembly and a beautiful message. Thank you Mrs. Dennis once again and to class 5B, a round of applause to them. Thank you.